You got to live with integrity if you want to be attractive to women. Women are looking to see if you're living in integrity with yourself. Are you keeping your word with yourself as a man? When you walk up, you have an energy, a vibe, a presence. If you're not impacting women, if women aren't being very attracted to you, you got to stop blaming women and instead look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror, you want to ask yourself a very important, honest question. Am I showing up to my life? So what does that mean? Am I showing up in my fitness? Am I showing up in my purpose? Am I chasing my purpose? Am I showing up professionally? Am I showing up socially? Am I going after the women I want? Am I facing my fears as a man? Am I living in integrity with the man I want to be? Or am I living in a, in a way that's lazy, in a way where I'm avoiding facing what I need to face as a man, and I'm just kind of living the easy way? When a woman meets you, she feels you. And if she feels weakness from you, weakness of character, weakness of integrity, that's why she politely excuses herself. That's why she politely says, thank you, but no thank you, or sorry, I have a boyfriend. One side note, if you're getting women telling you all the time that they're taken and they have a boyfriend, that's not always true. They're just using that as, a, as an easy way to get out of the situation. A man who has his life together, a man who lives his word, a man who is obviously living in integrity with himself, does not hear very often, sorry I have a boyfriend, sorry I'm taken, or any of that stuff. So if you want to become more attractive to women, you have to show up more to your life. Fix your life. Start living the way you know you should be living. Here's the thing, you, you need to imagine that there's a camera on you 24-7. If we put a camera crew on you 24-7, would you be ashamed of what we see or would you be proud of what you see? If we're just 100% real, a lot, of, a lot of you guys, the show would be that you're eating junk food, you're watching porn, you're not really doing anything courageous day after day, you're procrastinating instead of going after your passion and your purpose, you know, you probably have all these bad habits. Maybe you're sloppy, you're messy, your 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 clothes are old, you're not taking care of yourself, and on and on and on it goes. You need to live a life that you will be proud of because that is carried with you in your presence. When a woman meets you, she can tell how much integrity you live in when you're out of her sight, you know, out of the sight of everyone else. So a lot of people think, oh, I can live a crappy life in private and then go put on a show in front of women and, and, and fool them. But you're wrong. Maybe you can fool people a bit, but who you are, your strength of character is felt by us, by women. When you show up to a room, I will be able to feel how much or how little you are showing up to your life as a man in general. So we can say a woman is looking for a man who is, who is showing up. If you're not impacting women emotionally, if women aren't being drawn to you, stop blaming women and start thinking, asking the question, hmm, maybe I'm not doing enough. Maybe I'm not making myself a valuable enough human being to be desired by other human beings. Maybe I'm not a valuable enough, making myself valuable enough to be of a value add to someone else's life. So think about it this way. As a woman, let's pretend I'm a woman, I'm a, I'm a hot woman. I've got choice. That's just the way it is. So if, if men are approaching me, who am I going to choose? The guy that I sense is kind of lazy, doesn't face his fears, is kind of like off purpose, or the man who I can tell, even when no one's looking, He's hitting the gym. He's eating healthy. He's going after his purpose. He's living in integrity with his word. He's really working to be the best version of himself. Who am I going to choose? I'm going to choose this man. It's very rational and logical. You don't even have to get mad at women for this. If you were a woman, you would also make the same choice. 
let's take sexuality out of the picture completely. Let's say you're at a party and you meet two guys. Both guys are equally as friendly. Both guys have equal, you have equal amount in common with both, both guys. But one guy is uh, sloppy, uh, out of shape, watches porn, doesn't really do much, never faces his fears. And the second guy, he's in shape, he eats healthy, he's inspired, he faces his fears, he goes after his purpose, and you have to choose one as your friend. Who are you going to choose? Of course you're going to choose the guy who's got stuff going for him. So stop being angry at women and blaming women for not choosing you. They are smart and right for not choosing you if you're being a lazy slob and not showing up. You need to show up in your life first and then women will start choosing you. Take responsibility for if women are choosing you or not. When I was in the game and I wasn't getting the responses and the attraction and the desire I wanted from women, I didn't blame women. I stopped, I stepped back and I, and I asked myself, okay, what am I missing? Where am I falling short? And then I realized some areas that I was falling short. I worked on myself and then I made myself more valuable in the sexual marketplace. And then I went out and I got the, 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 the started getting the uh, result I desired. Okay. So stop being a little boy who blames women for not wanting you take responsibility as a full grown man, restore your integrity in the areas of your life that you have lost integrity with yourself. For example, it is not your truth to sit down and, and watch porn and be addicted to porn. It is not your truth to eat KFC and McDonald's and junk food and ice cream. It is not your truth to avoid facing your fears. Restore integrity in the areas you need to restore integrity within and then you will become this attractive man and women will become magnetically attracted to you. So what my mission is for you is to help you restore your integrity in the arena of socializing and seduction. Stop avoiding it. I know it's scary. It's damn scary. If you need help, book a call, call jad.com, book a call for free. We'll talk. I'll help you out. But you need to face your social fears as well. You're not going to get a woman on the computer or simply doing online dating. You have to go out there and become social and face your social fears and build your social muscles. You're not going to learn things just on the computer, just watching videos. And also getting good with women takes practice. So even if you somehow, it's highly unlikely, but, let, but let's say you somehow luck out and, and hook up with a, you know, match up with a girl online that's gorgeous and you go on a first date and it goes really well and you go on a second date and it goes well, you're still probably going to lose that girl because of your lack of social skills and specifically your lack of socializing with women. And so those holes in your game are going to appear. And even if you luck out and, a, and a, a beautiful woman falls in your lap, you're going to lose her because of the lack of practice. So restore your integrity in the area of socializing and seduction. Either do it by study and masterminding with other men or reach out to me for mentorship. Go to calljad.com. I'm here to help you. Restore your integrity as a man. And when you restore your integrity, you re restore your power. And then when you're living the life you're supposed to live, that's, that's an integrity with yourself. Once you show up in front of women, women are going to start being impacted and they're going to start being attracted to you. So take responsibility, get to work, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.